centers that are all across the area. In fact, you can actually get on an RTA bus and say, take me to a cooling center. They'll take you there for free. Yeah, that's a great deal right yeah. there. Seek air conditioning. Uh, you go to church, go to the mall, uh, go to the cooling centers. But uh, by all means, try to keep cool and stay hydrated. Here is a look at the time lapse. And for the uh, J24 uh, people that are in town, welcome. And this is the bay you're going to be sailing on right there. And we had a gorgeous sunset here tonight, as you can see right there. Just absolutely spectacular. The winds are going to be in your favor. They're picking up. And uh, that'll last for several days this week. You won't be disappointed. 74 on the morning low, 95 on the afternoon high. Now nearly 9 inches below normal on the rainfall for the year. Dry with the uh, rain chances or opportunity have left the area. Uh, that happened last uh, Friday, and uh, they are gone. Excessive summer heat this week with the heat index values that are going to top 105 to 115 each afternoon. And uh, the Atlantic is quiet. The same weather system that's making it hot and dry is protecting us from tropical activity. So good and bad, but uh, we'll take it. Here it is, the tropical satellite. There's the Gulf, the Caribbean Sea, nothing going on. And look at the Atlantic, all the way from the Leeward and Windward Islands all the way to Africa. Absolutely nothing happening there, and uh, fabulous to see that. But again, it'd be nice to have some rain, but we are being blocked off by high pressure in the Gulf. This is going to open up in August, and when it does so, we'll start to see the tropical moisture flow in here. But here we are on Friday. And then it starts to build back over us again, headed into the upcoming weekend. Right now it's 82, pretty breezy outside at 14 miles an hour. And temperatures as low as 80 in Beeville. We've got 82, again, 84 in Ingleside, but 80s everywhere. No weather systems in our area. Stationary front to the north, but low pressure coming out of the Rockies into the Plains states will increase our winds here tomorrow. We'll go from breezy today to windy tomorrow. And that high is situated right there in the upper atmosphere. Look at it driving this dry air out of the Plain States into South Texas. Even some dry air coming up from the south tonight through the western Gulf of Mexico. We need this low to be sitting over Laredo to, for us to get rain. It's in the wrong spot and it ain't happening for us. And that is very unfortunate. The moisture tracker. Again, shows it very dry here. Look how dry it is on Friday morning, and that just continues right on through the remainder of the week. We may pick up a stray shower, some moisture in the Gulf next week, but still a ways off for us to get anything excited about. As far as the winds, they are going to be breezy here overnight. Not bad in the morning, but they get windy tomorrow afternoon with uh, sustained winds at 20 or greater in much of the area, gusts to around 30. So the J24 uh, competition will like that. Then it's even breezier here starting out on Wednesday morning, and then it gets uh, fairly windy on Wednesday afternoon and uh, continues into Wednesday night and the remainder of the week. So sunny but breezy plus here on the marine forecast. The winds and seas picking up and the UV index extreme with a moderate rip current risk. The feel like temperatures 109 tomorrow, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. That's just awful and dangerous. 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday, 111 here, but again, it just keeps on going and triple digit levels through sunset. At least most of that Saharan dust has left the area. Again, a little bit coming in, but not much. Walking the dog tonight, well, it's a lot better than during the day. Preston likes the night versus the day. Hopefully your pup does too. Low 80s, south winds at 10. And uh, low temperatures tonight, 76 degrees, 77 in Sinton. And uh, then the highs tomorrow, 96 here, but 104 in George West, 101 in Alice. Here is your seven-day forecast. 76 tonight, 96 tomorrow, 78 and 97 Wednesday. We'll bring it down with the wind to 95 Thursday. And then temperatures in the mid to upper 90s all the way through Monday of next week with no rain in sight.